pegawai cawangan forensik Bukit Aman di Puti Superintendent Syarul Uthman hari ini memaklumkan bahawa Allahyarham Ahmad Sabani tidak bunuh diri atau dibunuh. Saksi kedua inquest menyiasat kematian Ahmad Sabani itu turut memaklumkan beberapa perkara yang mendorongnya menyatakan pendapat sedemikian. Perkara ini dihuraikan lebih lanjut oleh Peguam Wakil SPRM Datuk Seri Muhammad Syafi'i Abdullah ketika ditemui selepas inquest. Uh, DSP Syarul's finding in our cross examination today uh, is very critical because this is the first time uh, one of the experts have said uh, in no uncertain terms. Now his finding is uh, the most important finding is this that he found that from the detailed examination of the crime scene, uh, namely in the pantry room where the deceased is said to have ejected himself from the window. Uh, there was no signs of any struggle, uh, meaning there was no second party involved. He also found evidence, uh, from the evidence that he has uh, discovered, that the deceased must have very quietly, secara uh, senyap, must have very quietly uh, ejected himself with the hope that nobody would hear him trying to eject himself out of the window. Now, uh, DSP Sharul also said this, very critical, and he said, there is no evidence of homicide. I mean, nobody murdered him, nobody accidentally murdered him, nothing. And there is also no suicide. That means he did not kill himself. But what DSP Sharul is saying is that uh, uh, the deceased attempted to get out of the window because he thought he could jump onto uh, the badminton uh, court roof. There's a side roof. It's a perimeter of roof surrounding the uh, badminton court. And from the window, you got an optical illusion. It's almost like that roof is just next to the window. But in fact, it is nine feet away. There's no human being who can jump nine feet in that position. But it'll be too late. If one has gone down there, it's a bit too late for you to do anything. And if you try, and that's what happened. Because his body was found between the corner, the left corner of the window, closer to the uh, roof, but of course on the floor. So which means that he attempted to jump in that direction. That is the clearest proof that he wanted to jump onto that particular uh, roof but he failed and he sustained injury. And uh, uh, Sharul also feels that he must have landed primarily on his uh, feet and that's why you find that the major bones of his feet broken, completely broken and severed uh, as one of the indications that uh, uh, he, he has landed on his feet and maybe immediately almost so simultaneously he must have fallen also on his face to have suffered the head injury which resulted in massive uh, hemorrhage uh, which in fact uh, caused asphyxia because it blocks his entire nose his mouth uh, and he couldn't breathe and uh, uh, both of these causes caused the death <clears throat>